Now in addition to viewing our notifications in our notification center, we also have a today view. The today view shows us various information that is going on today. It could be news, it could be upcoming events, it could be reminders. Let's take a look at the today view on the iPad. Let's go to my iPad. Now we have a few different ways to access the Today View. I can access it through the Notification Center. How do I get to the Notification Center? I swipe down from the very top here. Swipe down. I'm looking at my notifications. And if we look here at the bottom, you're going to see I have these two dots. This means that I can swipe over to the right. When I swipe over to the right, I'm looking at my Today View. So one way is through the Notification Center. Another way is from our home screen, which is where we have all of our different apps. Now, if you recall, I have three different home screens on here. I can swipe over to the left, and I'm at my second home screen. Swipe to the left again, I'm at my third home screen. Let's push the home button. Now I am back at my first home screen. So how do I access my Today View? Well, when I'm on my first home screen here, all I have to do is swipe to the right again, and I'm on my Today View. I swipe back over to the left, I'm back at my home screen. Let's take a closer look at this. If you look here, you're gonna see I have four dots. If you recall, I only have three home screens. So what is this first dot on the left? That represents the Today View. So if I had five home screens, I would actually have six dots here. The dot on the left is my Today View, the five dots on the right would be my home screens. And again, since I have three home screens, the dot on the left is my Today View, the three dots on the right are my home screens. So to access our Today View from our home screens, we just have to keep swiping over to the right until we get to our Today View. I can also access this from my lock screen. I'm gonna put my iPad to sleep by pressing the sleep wake button. Let's wake it back up. And if we look here, you're going to see we have these three dots. I swipe over to the right. I'm looking at my Today View. So I do not have to have my iPad open to view my Today View. Let's go and open up my iPad and take a closer look at this Today View. I'm going to swipe over to the right. So what is this telling me? Well, it has various widgets from different apps, and it tells you what is going on today. So here's my widget from the calendar. I can see that I have a haircut at 11 o'clock. If I want to see more, I go over to the right of the widget and you're going to see show more. I tap on it and now I can see I have an oil change later on today. Below that we have news and again over to the right I can show more and when I scroll up I can view more articles. I tap on any one of these and it'll open it up. Over on the right, we have another column because I'm viewing my iPad in landscape mode. I have another widget here, Siri app suggestions. These will change depending on which apps you use, where you are located, and what time it is. Below that, we have my music. And if I scroll up, I also have reminders. And I can see what is upcoming next. And again, with some of these widgets, what we can do is we can go and show more and show less. Now we can customize what widgets we see here. To do that, we go over to the left and you're gonna see edit. This is gonna be at the bottom of your left column. The widgets that we can add will change depending on which apps we have installed on our iPad. So let's go ahead and tap on this to see what widgets I can install and uninstall. Tap on it. And now we can see we have my left column widgets, and then we also have my right column widgets. So if I wanted to move music here, which is in my right column, over to the left column, all I need to do is just go over to the right here on these three lines, and then I just drag it up to the left column, and I place it where I want in that left column. If I want to remove it, then what I do is I tap on the little red circle here, and then tap on remove. And now it is no longer in my today view. So where did it go? Well, it went down to more widgets. These are all the widgets that are not installed. So when I scroll up here, you're going to see I have a number of widgets. 
one of them being music. That's because I no longer have it installed. To install any one of these, all I do is just tap on the green plus. Let's go ahead and install notes. And now we can see notes is installed. It's installed on my right column. Again, I can go and drag it around to move it to a different column by tapping and hold on these three lines and drag it where I want. And again, the number of widgets that you have will depend on which apps you have installed on your iPad. Third-party apps can install widgets, so when you install an app from the App Store, you may want to go and see if they have a widget. When you are finished, all you have to do is just tap on Done, and now all of your changes will be shown on the Today View. So that's the Today View on the iPad. We can access it through the Notification Center, through our Home screen, or through the Lock screen. The widgets will show you various information of what is going on today, depending on which app the information came from. So that's the Today View on the iPad.